All right, back live from Big 12 Media Days in Arlington. I am John Kurtz, and I am joined now by UCF AD Terry Mahajer. Appreciate you taking the time to uh, not only join me, but catch up a little bit about your, your Kansas City roots. Well, first of all, thank you for pronouncing my last name right, because the guys from BYU and Utah just can't get it right. <laughs> I saw like I don't know I, I was like no I had to correct them like three times no they're they're awesome guys just did a BYU show and so it's been fun man love to love to be on your show thanks for having me and yeah man my Kansas City roots strong yeah, yeah. what's the weirdest way you've heard your name pronounced at one of these things well my kids like when they because my J is silent a lot of people the more educated you are the harder my name is. We just need a good old-fashioned redneck from Arkansas to pronounce my name, and they'll get it right every time. <laughs> uh, when I lived down in Arkansas, uh, it, mohair. They make the J silent. Yeah. Mohair. So my kids like that because they think I need more hair. So they love that. So there you go. That's good. That's yeah. good. I like that. How does it feel to have this be official, be a Big 12 Media Days, and a part of this conference? Well, professionally for our university, it's just a huge day, and, and you know we, we celebrate this on July July first, two thousand twenty three, is a new beginning in our athletics department, and uh, you know we're we're in the education business, but we're also in the competition business. From from a personal standpoint, there's a lot of uh, I have a lot of uh, personal feelings. You know, my my very first CFP championship game was here. It was the very first one here. I set up there four rows. Four rows in front of LeBron James and Ohio, watched Ohio State win the very first CFP championship. So that was really cool. Uh, being from Kansas City, growing up a Big 8, Big 12 fan, working in the Big 12 twice at the University of Kansas, uh, and being able to um, you know, be affiliated with such an unbelievable conference is just really special. It also puts a lot of pressure because you have a lot of loved ones and family members that are now going to be rooting against you. <laughs> And I've had, I've never had really any family members rooting against us, but now I've got a lot of a lot of family members, including I've got a degree from Kansas. My wife's got a degree. From, I've got a daughter that goes to the University of Kansas right now, and, and I have a bunch of nephews. And my one of my brothers is the sweet holder there, and so you know, let's see. Oh, well, maybe they can find a little uh, find a little space to root for us. So yeah, you know, kind of a yeah. win-win. For yeah, absolutely. Yeah, playing. yeah. Uh, what was the process like when you find out Texas and Oklahoma are leaving? How quick was that process to get in touch with Bowlesby and everything that I mean, to get you guys in went, the conference? I reached out that day once it was official. I mean, there was rumors during uh, the 4th of July week um, of 2021 that this could happen. Um, but, um, yeah, no, um, I think the SEC ADs were surprised. And as soon as it was official, I reached out that day and, and um, you know, kind of bird-dogged it a little bit. And, and um, we, we weren't a shoe in by any means, but we had some work to do. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad that the board of directors and the ADs chose to, you know, include us as one of the four. It does seem like you guys have been on this trajectory for a long time, right? And this is kind of the culmination yeah. of a lot of groundwork that's been laid. I mean, how, how do you? Oh, absolutely. It? I mean, yeah, going back to, you know, Dante, Dante Culpepper to Blake Bortles and the very first Fiesta Bowl win that we had. And and, uh, um, and so, I mean, Georgia Leary, presidents, ADs, coaches, women's sports, uh, alumni base have all been a part of, uh, of, the, uh, uh, of the refinement and the elevation of our program. It seems to me like you guys have a really high ceiling based on, I mean, obviously huge alumni base, the amount of people in your school, you're in a major metro area in Orlando. Football programs had a lot of success here lately. I'm curious what you're, how you describe the elevator pitch for UCF, belonging at this level and belonging with the potential that you have. Well, listen, you know, we're, we 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 are obviously very fortunate. The board of directors and the ADs, you know, chose us, but we also believe we bring a lot to the table, and uh, you know, we're not just happy to just come into the league. We want to compete on a very high level. We want to win conference championships and we want to compete nationally, and that's the goal. Uh, we've got some work to do as we transition into the Big 12. Um, we've got work, you know, as far as operating capital, facilities, all kinds of stuff. I mean, that goalpost keeps moving. P personnel, I mean, the salaries, that goalpost keeps moving back. And, uh, or basket, wherever you want to say, in the Big 12. Uh, and so we still have, we have, well, each year we might have a little further to go. But again, there's a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of schools have things that we don't have yet in the Big 12. But we have things that this, some of the Big 12, a lot of the Big school, Big 12 schools don't have. And we're going to use those elements and, and accentuate those and, and focus on the positives. And, and uh, you know, um, you know, we're just happy, happy to, to be able to compete. Your football program, obviously, everybody knows about the success you've had. You're recruiting really well right now, and you have a coach in Gus Malzahn, who's—I mean, that guy's been around the SEC. Yeah. Like, he knows what it takes. 
What do you see as like the ceiling for this football program as you enter the Big 12? Ceiling? I mean, to compete for a national championship. I mean, really, that's what it is. Um, you know, they're, you know, your level's a state of mind. And I think UCF, even in my personality fits UCF's personality. I, I think UCF was one of those schools that always had a chip on their shoulder. I'm a, I'm a guy that's always had a chip on my shoulder. Where on my upbringing, you know, my, the, low, the roads left traveled. Wasn't a highly recruited guy out of Shawnee Mission South High School in Kansas City. Had to go to Butler County Junior College, get re-recruited. You know, started as a GA, moved on to the field. I started as an analyst, moved on the field. So, listen, I, I think, you know, doing things, uh, taking the roads less traveled has also will also make – a stronger and I think UCF even though the trajectory was a little faster than most places the, the trajectory and, and doing things the way that we've done it has you know given our folks a, sh a little bit of a chip in our shoulder and but they also believe that we can be as good as we we want it to be in the state of Florida in particular yeah uh, uh, the landscape right now is very interesting because you know, Florida's been a little down Florida State has been a little down Miami's been a little down and you guys now are on the upswing so yeah. how do you view your place in the hierarchy of universities in the state of Florida? I feel like we're one of the top four, um, you know, schools and, you know, those are all cyclical and uh, we're competing well with them on a, on a, on a, uh, a recruiting standpoint. And uh, I, I think, um, I, I, you know, I, I, I look at I look at them as a peers. But I looked at him as a peer when I first got there, either, as, as well. So I mean, again, that's why that's why I'm kind of I was kind of going with the whole st your levels, your state of mind, and if you think you're big time, you will be big time. But you got to prove it on the on the the competition surfaces. You're good. Gus Miles on anecdote or story. Oh, fact. he's funny. I worked with him before. And he's great, and uh, you know he's uh, you know he's uh, he is uh, uh, he's he's. I'll give you a little story. He may get mad at me for saying this. So when he got, so we got here. He, I called him yesterday. I said, I got a reservation for him. I'm gonna take the guys to a good dinner. And I've I've come to Dallas a lot, and over the years. And my one of my favorite restaurants is Nick and Sam's. Uh, it's a great steakhouse, great atmosphere, great food, everything. And he's you know he's from he's from Arkansas, lived in uh, Alabama, and, and he I said, well, you got a reservation already for the guys? Yeah, I'm gonna take him to Papacitas. I go, why? I mean, that I know that's a good place. I said, but it's kind of a chain. I said we should take him to some local. Anyway, so he was like, I could tell he was got a little like disappointed, and not he could have. I said you can go wherever you want to do. It. As a coach, he's like, then he last night he was kind of like, but he loves Papacitas, man. He loves Papacitas, and so I was like, yeah, I mean, uh, but you know, those are just some of the fun little things we have behind the scenes and um but he's no he's, he's doing a really good job and uh he works he works his tail off and he's very focused and i mean he knows how to compete at a very high level yeah well, you guys have a dynamic commissioner as well yeah, oh, yeah. with and brett your mark what is your perspective on what he brings to the table as an ad and what's it been like to work with? well he's he's he fits our personality as an institution very well very innovative uh, a lot of energy uh, is always trying to create new opportunities, new IP, uh, and uh, you know I think as he as he continues to settle in the position, he's only been here for a year, and get more get more into the uh, governance. Uh, he'll be he'll be he'll be the best commissioner in the in the in the country. I know he said yesterday that he'd be. He used the word slightly disappointed if he wasn't at 14 in the next two years. Yeah. How do you view expansion, and would you do you think that's a fair statement? Yeah, I think it's good. I think you know we've been very, very, very open about this. Probably the most ads is uh, not AD, our ads in this league have been very open about it, as opposed to other conferences. Is we're open for business, and, we, and I, listen, he's been charged by the board of directors and the ads to 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 uh, you know be a national conference. And uh, I think that's what he's doing. He's looking at any opportunity, any and all opportunities to strengthen our brand, to strengthen our IP, to, uh, to, uh, to strengthen our national audience. And he's doing a fantastic job. We'll see if it eventually moves east or closer to you guys. How much is a concern, you know, travel and having a, people talk about like a travel partner? It's a, well, I mean, we, we, it's, a, it's a concern even this year. I mean, when I say concern, it's a challenge. It's not a concern. Uh, you know, we, we know, I mean, you know, we, we got to go to, we got to go to Boise uh, for our non-conference game. We got to go to Lubbock, which is about three and a half, three forty-five. We go to uh, Kansas State, about three hours to Kansas, three hours. I mean, our shortest flight this year is two 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 fifteen. So I mean, it's you know, if you play at night, you get home when the sun comes up, and that's something that uh, you know that that kind of can create some challenges for you. But listen, I I've, I've been a part of 
programs where you've come home and the sun's coming up and you play Thursday night and you win. So, I mean, listen, this is, again, your level and your mindset is really what takes you to success. This relationship between you guys and the Pac-12 has been painted as kind of adversarial in the media, but like behind closed doors? No, I don't, I don't see it that way. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't see it that way at all. Um, can you give me a certain reference point? Well, a, a lot of a lot of those that have talked about it is like the Big 12 kind of waiting around for the Pac-12 TV deal to not oh. go well to take somebody. So it's turned into a little bit of a battle there with the way it's been painted. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, I, I really haven't seen it that way. I think I think everybody's op opportunistic, and I would tell you that I would I would think that uh, there are certain teams in the Big Pac-12 that could go to the, has been very vocal about it. if they could go to the Big Ten, they would go today. Yeah. So right, so I mean, it's it, it, if it's adversarial, it's coming from within. Yeah, I got More, you. If it's adversarial, it's coming from within as opposed to coming from external. Of course, yeah. Uh, so I, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, so anyway. Yeah, I hear you. All right, bounce house. I've yeah. never been there. Come what, on. What, what do I need to know? Are you, bring, are you bringing a bunch of Kansas City fans when you guys come to come this year playing sports? I would, well, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that we get the Jayhawks to come in black basketball. So I'm a K State guy. So hopefully, when, uh, when we get the, the return. Yeah, out there yeah. To, uh, to yeah, well, you'll be coming next year. Yeah, should. Yeah. So what do I need to know about the bounce house? Uh, you know, it's very exciting stadium but you guys play in a really exciting stadium too get the, the kitty the cats uh sorry that goes back to my old jayhawk days the kitty cat. i said that to gene gene's like you're not even in the late league yet and he goes you're saying kitty cats i was like that, i just grew up in kansas man what are you talking about so i was like uh you know i say tigers for the missouri but you know, yeah a lot of respect kansas state greatest coach in my mind in the history of college football bill snyder and I've uh, tracked him and, and so it's listen you guys know great atmosphere Kansas State's got a great atmosphere uh, and, and, and so you're gonna see just another school that has great atmosphere looking forward to it yeah man Much appreciate the thanks, time. thanks yeah. man see ya